What's up, y'all? This is Claude, and right now you're checking me out at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. Today's recipe, I guess, is something I found online. Looks pretty good. I figure I'll try it out. I'm going to go with another chicken dish. This time it's going to be a one-pan chicken spinach mushroom. And it's supposed to be creamy, a little bit of garlic and, uh, you know, Parmesan cheese. So it's not as healthy as it should be for people like me trying to count calories. It's Sunday dinner. I'm not stressing it too, too much. I've been good lately, y'all. So this is what I'm going to do to sit there and, um, yeah, treat myself. Check this out. All right, so as you see, I got all my ingredients like I do usually. I got a little bit of my uh, regular uh, Parmesan cheese. I got the mushrooms going on. You know what I mean? My little uh, butter, uh, salt and pepper, garlic powder. Yeah, I'm sipping my wine over here too, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I got a little bit of a chicken stock. I don't really like going in cans, but this is all I could actually find right now for chicken broth. So I went with a little collagen. I hashtag that, of course. And then, of course, I went with uh, a little bit of half and half. This recipe is going to call for about uh, half a sub, half a cup. They're saying so far of heavy cream. So that'll be my half and half uh, in, in there. A little bit of uh, flour, and of course, fresh spinach. And you see the garlic on the side. I don't play these games. This is me really doing this for real, y'all. And of course, I got a little bit of Berea, uh pasta. Now this pasta, I've had it once before. It's uh, a protein-based pasta. And uh, actually, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. This is it here. The Berea Protein Plus pasta is what I'm going to go with. It's regular spaghetti. It tastes pretty good. And um, as you're seeing, it is fortified with proteins and things like that. So this is where we're going to actually get into my pot. And again, this is my chicken. So basically, um, my chicken breasts were uh, cut. I got about four breasts total. I decided to uh, flatten them out a little bit. Going to go about a quarter inch on those. Going to cook these on both sides about five minutes each. Once I'm done, I take these out the pan. They're going to be kept taken out the pan. I'm going to go ahead and uh, at that point, uh, drop in my mushrooms, so I'll take those a little bit. And then I'm going to put everything back in the pan when I'm done. So then we mix it all together and stuff, get spinach in there, a little cream in the, you know, it should be something. So we're going to get into this in a few moments. All right, so as you see, I got my chicken basically uh, cooked down. A little bit of golden brown action going on, and um, they're cooked through. So basically what I do here is literally just get them on a plate. I'm going to put them on a plate, put them to the side, because I don't want my cooked chicken to overheat. I don't want it to get it dry at all or over, uh, you know, o overdo it. So I'm just going to take them off the pan, as you see, I'm laying them on a plate. And then next, I'm going to toss my mushrooms in the pan. The same pan, same uh, olive oil, and uh, same butter combination in it right now. And then we're going to continue. All right, so as you see, one uh, package is basically about eight ounces. And I got my mushrooms in the pan now. They're just going to saute a little bit, turn them obviously, and get them going. And what I want to do is cook them down so that they start to get a little soft and tender. I don't want to overcook them because they are going to cook a little longer once I have my uh, my sauce going. That's, that's really it. Mushrooms. There's the chicken hanging out, chilling. And I've already pre-measured my cream. This is the half and half here. <clears throat> and this is my chicken broth and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop about a tablespoon of flour into the sauce mixture to kind of thicken it a little bit by the time I drop everything else in. Next though, once I get the mushrooms out, we're going to put these to the side in a few moments also. And then all I'm going to do is start by putting butter in the pan. Then I'm going to drop the uh, garlic get those right and start getting everything mixed in the chicken and mushrooms are going to get put back in the pan with the sauce once that starts cooking 
Got to work quick with this one so you don't burn anything while you do it. But it's not bad. After you have everything prepared, according to the recipe that I found online, it could probably take about 20 minutes, really, to cook this up. And, um, you know, from there, total time is about a half hour because you figure about 10 minutes to get your ingredients ready. Again, this channel that I do is really designed to try to help people, maybe single guys like me, sit there and eat without having to go out all the time and eat. And try to eat with other little options, a little healthier, if anything. Again, this recipe isn't the healthiest, but um, I love my uh, mushrooms, I love my spinach. And again, boneless chicken, right? Never said I was vegetarian or vegan. I did say I was going to try, but um, man, my protein, man. I need protein. Chicken and fish only, babes. Chicken and fish only. No red meat, meaning no pork or beef for me. Mushrooms are almost done. All right, so next, I'm dealing with a warm pan. All I did was toss a, um, about a quarter cup or a half a stick of butter. I'm just gonna sit there and melt that down. And this is where the sauce comes in. And as you see, my water's getting ready for the pasta. But basically, I'm just gonna melt the butter down. And once I do that, I'm going to uh, next toss in my garlic. And I want to cook that down a little bit just so that it gets fragrant and a little see-through. So I'm just moving the butter around a little bit. We want to get that melted pretty quick and keep working. As you see, I also have my mushrooms. These are already cooked and they're just sitting out um, in a little pan or a little bowl I got here. Just so that I can toss them right back in the pan once I get the uh, sauce going. So, very easy. Chicken's ready to go back in as well. It's cooked. Mushrooms cooked. And of course, like I mentioned to you, spinach, garlic. Making it happen. I'm about to get the pasta ready and drop that in the pan in a moment also. So here we are. Butter in the pan, it's melted. And like I said, I'm gonna drop my garlic in and then continue from there. All right, so behind the scenes, what I did just now is I basically tossed in my pan, um, after I got my garlic going, I tossed in a little bit of flour to give it a little bit of a thicker consistency. Um, I then tossed in the uh, chicken stock or chicken broth. Um, I tossed in my Parmesan cheese. I tossed in garlic powder, salt and pepper, uh, very little salt because I'm not big on salt myself. And um, like I said, with the garlic in here with the butter, so basically the sauce is starting to get a little warm once it does what I'm gonna do because I start to see bubbles forming on the top of it already what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the spinach and then we're gonna boil that down or cook that down until it wilts once that does then I'm gonna reintroduce everything else back into the pan so here's my spinach again fresh spinach all I did was take a little bit and I cut it up you know what I mean? Just to kind of give it a little of the same consistency. I didn't want it too uh, too wide while I uh, while I eat. So I got spinach in the pan now, along with my sauce. And again, this is a garlic parmesan with spinach. I'm gonna give that a few moments to cook down. And from there, we're going with the mushrooms back in the pan, the chicken back in. Now it's going on top of my protein pasta. Now my pasta, what I do after I uh, I drain it. I do put a little bit of garlic powder in the pasta also because I just enjoy the flavors of the, you know the garlic and stuff in my pasta as well. So um, maybe a little bit of butter, not much, very very little, because I have butter in the pan cooking down with the garlic, and I don't want to get a, a little beside myself. All right, so there it is. Right? Gonna give this a few more moments, and I'm gonna toss the again. Mushrooms, chicken, back in, let it cook down a little bit, and then uh, then I eat. So, as I mentioned, this is my version of the creamy uh, chicken with mushroom and spinach, Parmesan cheese, over my uh, spaghetti, man. This is that protein pasta, 
again, made by Berea. I'll go ahead and uh, tag the company in a moment. But uh, I'm really going to go ahead and get into this one and enjoy this one. It smells incredible. And the flavors, they, they, I can just imagine. So I'll let you guys know in a moment. I'm going to also wash this down with a little bit of Crane Lake. Big shout out to my Aunt V, Aunt Val. Thanks for uh, putting me onto the Pinot on the Crane Lake. I'm really feeling this one. Got my glass ready. And this is what it is, man. Sunday night dinner. Get familiar. All right, so um, I just tried, and I'm going to try a little bit more on camera, and then I'm about to tear this up. Truthfully, this is some of the uh, creamiest pasta I've had in a very long time, along with the um, with the mushrooms and, and, and the spinach. It's, this is incredible. I'm getting a nice little subtle creamy cheesiness from the Parmesan. Couple with the garlic because the garlic is going to stand out on top of the fact that you have the mushrooms and you have the spinach working wonders. The chicken is pan seared a little bit, so you're going to get a little bit of that crunchiness on the outside. Definite flavor, a lot, a lot of flavor, a lot of uh, softness and tenderness and juiciness on the inside of that chicken. Great, great dish. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get the recipe put online for you guys, but. Um, Again, another banger. This is Claude checking me out at home. <laughs> Don't mind the background, but I'm enjoying myself right now. Get into my little bit of wine here. You're checking me out at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. Thanks for checking me out. I holla at y'all. Peace.